no, I don't like this map already. You're telling me how we could jump from building to building? That's so gay, man. Da -da. Oh my god, that was a nasty snipe. That felt good. I pulled the trigger well, on that dumb shit. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Dude, one of these days, I'm gonna slip up. I might slip up. I'm not gonna slip up. I'm confident. What? What? Dude. I'm getting annoyed, bro. I can't even see half these guys. Dude, I just got man up. Just got man up, bro. Just got man up. Oh my god. Filthy snipe. What you dude? I hate these fucking corner camping bitches, bro. You could definitely hit a trick shot right there, though. That would be nasty. That would be nasty. That would actually be like. That's actually probably one of the. Okay. I could I could definitely hit a YY360 up here. Taking effective fire. Imagine dragging these nuts across your face. Okay. Yeah. Fuck it, I'm going around. I'm going fuck. Oh, dude, that would have been nasty. Can I please? Can I please suck on your pecker, big mama? What the fuck? Dude, I hate this game. This doesn't flow that well. I just, I don't like this map. Oh, yep. Stun! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh, that last part. Oh my god! No! No! Oh my god! No! No! I didn't get all the time! No! No! Dude, that was fucking gnarly! No, dude! Oh my god! This map is, um, the last map, honestly, was more of a 7 out of 10. This map's more like a 5, 6 out of 10. This map just isn't that good. It's good for close quarter combat, but I feel like with sniping, it's just not the move, you know what I mean? Right in your ass. Good fuck. Let's go. W making people rage quit. W's. Enemies taking alpha. Imagine. Dragging these nuts across your face. Objective Alpha is compromised. Fuck UAV you. Standing by. Requesting recon flyover! Copy. UAV is on station. Recon online. Securing Objective Alpha. I'm not gonna lie, I might, I might re-download Modern Warfare. Objective Alpha secure. Next hardpoint. Stand by. Enemy personnel. Oh my god. Dirty as fuck. Guys, I'm starting to realize how much I fucking hate. Hold up, let me take off my hat. I'm starting to realize how much I hate working 10 hours a day, four days a week. Like, I love having Friday off, 
But all I do with my Friday is just stay inside. Because I don't have any plan to go do stuff. And I want to relax, you know, after working. And I have to relax Friday in order to have fun on Saturday. Like, I don't know. It's just, it's weird, man. I enjoy having my Fridays off, but like... All I do is lay around and do nothing. Like today, guys, I haven't gone outside at all. I want to go outside, but I can't figure out what the fuck I want to do. I have three choices. I can either go fishing. It's a little too hot for fishing, though. It's 85 degrees, and I don't feel like sitting in the beating fucking sun. Uh, basketball, but they just demolitioned a trailer down by the basketball court. So there's a bunch of mold and shit spreading around there, so that's probably not a good idea. And, um, go to Madison and buy a new basketball, which I want to do, but both my cars are fucked. I'll tell you guys, I can't catch a break. <laughs> I just, I can't. Like, realistically, I can't. If you guys don't know, I have two cars. They're both fucking trash. My Infinity, the frame is so rusted, it's probably going to break any, like, within the next... Like, if I were to keep driving it realistically as my daily, it would probably break within... <clears throat> I would like to say within a year, like the frame would crack in half, but the mechanic says it could crack any day, whatever the fuck, because it's so rusted. The front cradle is basically gone, they said. Um, and the Honda, the Honda just, I don't know what happened. I It just started like smoking all of a sudden out from underneath the hood when I pulled up to the house and now I don't, excuse me. Now I don't want to drive it because I feel like it might fucking, you know, die on me and... Like, I, dude, those are my vehicles for work, bro. If they both are fucked, man, I got no way to work. Luckily, right now, I'm just going with my dad working in uh, Chilton, but... Otherwise, yeah, I'm kind of fucked. It sucks ass. Okay, so I have to choose my faction. Bro, you can't do that to me. They get the better camo? Okay, so I'll automatically put me here. Or can I do both? Can I do both or can I do none? Because I want that camo, dude. That camo looks sick. I want that red crimson camo. Alright, let me restart. <clears throat> Guys, let's talk about Sun Positive. Let's talk about Modern Warfare 3. Now, a lot of you are probably like, oh, that's not very positive. It's going to be a shit game. It may be a shit game. I, 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 I honestly think it's going to be. But here's what I'm trying to be positive about. Sledgehammer is working on a game <clears throat> that they want to really do good on. They're working on an Infinity Ward game, you know? They're not doing fucking what they usually do and go with future and fucking past. They're working on a modern game for one. Now everybody just calm down. I know there are going to be some people that are watching this video and being like, um, Well, actually, Iron Spider, did you not know that Sledgehammer assisted in Modern Warfare 3? Yes, I didn't know that. I'm not fucking retarded, but I'm saying that they are leading Modern Warfare 3. They are leading a Infinity War game for once. They're not assisting. It's not... They're, as far as I... From what I understand, they are the head group of Modern Warfare 3. Everything is going through them. Basically, Modern War... Or Infinity War laid out the blueprints... And Sledgehammer is making it. If that makes any sense. I'm sorry if that sounds retarded. I can't say that word. I'm sorry if that sounds bad. But you know. I just wanted you guys to know. That's basically what's happening here. Is that they are going to be full fledged. The leader of Modern Warfare 3. They are not assisting. They are not doing any of that. It sounds like they're assisting when you put the way I put, you know, how Infinity Ward put out the blueprint and they're just building it. You know what I mean? It sounds like they're assisting.
But realistically, they're just making Modern Warfare 2 into a better game. They made, they're they making Modern Warfare 2, this Modern Warfare 2, the way it should have been made is from what I'm understanding. But it's going to be labeled Modern Warfare 3 and it's not going to be a DLC. It's going to be an actual premium Call of Duty game. So anyways guys, thank you for your time. Hope you enjoy the rest of the clip. And one more thing, I know they also assisted in Modern Warfare 2019. Forgot to say that, but yeah. Because I know somebody, some nitpicky motherfucker, would go in the comments and say, Well, actually, Iron Spider, you forgot about Modern Warfare 2019. How about this? How about you? Go have a wonderful fucking day. Modern setting and all that. And you know what? I'm really excited. I'm really fucking excited. Because, one, they're really good when it comes to answering the community and, you know, trying to favor the community. And I really liked Vanguard, despite it being a World War II setting. I didn't like that part of it, but otherwise, it felt like a good pacing. You got to pick your pacing. It just felt like an overall good, you know, game. It felt fun. Like I mean, as much as I hate to admit, it was a fun game. As much as I hate the World War II setting, it was a fun ass fucking game, and I would never. And I fucking love it. And I'm just, I'm excited because they're really good at listening to the community. And also, we're hearing that the original, you know, mini-map is coming back. And if they do that, I would fucking love that. And I feel like out of everybody, Sledgehammer would be the one to do it because they listen to the community really well if it actually does happen. So far, obviously, these are all rumors, so I'm taking everything with a grain of salt because I don't want to get my hopes up for this fucking game and then have it be shit. But so far, it's sounding pretty fucking good, I'm not gonna lie, it sounds pretty fucking good. Yeah, I, I'm thinking it's gonna be good, I hope. But, you know, I, we can only hope. You know, we're not, it's not, we're not gonna know for sure until it comes out. But yeah, I'm just, I'm excited. They're bringing back all the Modern Warfare 2 maps. Just, I don't know, I think it's gonna be a good game, and I'm hoping it's gonna be a good game, you know what I mean? I just hope they don't do the microtransaction bullshit.